concern. The violence in Ferguson, Missouri, ramping up again overnight, prompting many people to uh, ask those people to protest peacefully, including our next guest. We told you about him yesterday. His online rant now going viral. Watch. What we're doing out here is not helping. Change is not going to come until we change it. And I hate to say this, but I'm going to tell you what you need to hear imposed into what you want to hear. All we know how to do is blame the police and white folks for our actions. All we know how to do is march and riot and loot. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I'm not going to tell you and tell you we're going to march, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. I'm going to tell you, damn it, let's change. Well, enough that message. It seemed to maybe resonate with the community the other day, and that man, Minister Jonathan Gentry, back now again. I don't know that they got that message, Jonathan, overnight with all the looting that unfolded there again. How are you feeling this morning about your community? It's for what I want to say this. President Obama's not going to do it. Al Sharpton's not going to do it. NAACP is not going to do it. Or no other activist or civil rights leader. I want to apologize to America for our behavior as black people. That's first and foremost. I want to apologize to America for our idiotic behavior at this point. This has nothing to do with race. This has nothing to do with the police at this point. This is just idiotic, discombob discombobulated confusion at this moment. And I want to apologize for what everyone is seeing, because this is total what, Total what do you think? Disgusting. What do you think is happening out there? Because there has been questions of whether or not this has to do with black, white, police versus community. What's your take on what's happening and why it's happening? A lot of this is is just fueled anger from our past. This has nothing to do with, and I hate to say this again, we we're constantly looking for an outlet to blame. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We're, this one man's death, we're, we're outraged about. But unfortunately, that happens every day in our communities. Why are you singling him out when you're not outraged about what we're doing every single day, killing people like him? Every day unarmed. This happens every day in our communities. Why are you outraged about him and not what we do every day? I don't understand it. It's hypocritical to me. I can't justify this at this point. Well, so you what don't do you justify this behavior. Pastor, what do you think of the media coverage of this story? For one, the chief, I guess he, the gentleman was, was robbing or stealing uh, cigarettes or whatever that he was taking. And family saying he's assassinating my son's character. The camera shows your son assaulting the store clerk. Remember when I just said we take blame, we want to blame everyone for everything? The camera shows your son reaching over, grabbing the man, taking what he wants, and walking out the store. How is that assassinating his character? That is the total truth. What do you hope your community Lady, does? Lady, wake up! Jonathan, we'll get you out of here on this. What do you hope your community does today, Saturday morning in Ferguson? Jesse Jackson, Al Sharpton, NAACP, everyone out there, you should be bringing this same message. You step out your limousine, stop the violence, <clears throat> stop the violence. <sighs> everyone shaking your hand, doing this, doing that. Hey, Jesse, uh, me and my homies are down there riding loop, but good to see you, bro. And we'll catch you around the block. Oh, uh, yeah, we down here marching. Say something. Say something. Don't just sit there and march and shake hands with everybody. Brother, do something about it. If somebody bought me a ticket out there, I would tell you. Well, oh, that's Obama too. Idea. Get down there and say something. It wouldn't surprise me. Don't uh, just be from the clubhouse and just, oh, uh, you guys, uh, if that would have been me 25 years ago, cut it out. Cut it out. You said that with Trayvon Martin. You're bringing that same nonsense now. <laughs> so I have the feeling someone's going to buy you a ticket there, yeah. Jonathan Gentry. Thanks for joining us this morning. We really appreciate it. Thank you, Jonathan. I like hearing what he has to say. I mean, he's got passion, that's for sure.